Hi, I'm Karthik from Fisherman Training Institute, Salala. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use calendars in Microsoft Publisher 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic: how to use calendars in Microsoft Publisher 2010. Let me see the objective first: working with calendars. So under this, we are going to discuss how to select the calendar template, how to edit it. And second one is customizing the color, font, business information, and page orientation at the time of selecting the template. Third one, after selecting this, if you wish to change the template, how can, how to do that? We are going to deal and are changing template. Fourth one, tent preview. So these are the objectives we are going to discuss in this session. So click Microsoft. publisher icon to open the microsoft publisher 2010 when you click on the icon it will takes you to the backstage view this view is called as a backstage view where you can able to find the plenty of options and categories like available templates where you have installed an online templates and next comes the online template and last one is an install template and home category most popular and more templates so our task is we want to use calendars so while calendars are available under most popular category you select calendar then you click on the calendar you can able to see a plenty of pre installed templates so in calendar there are four categories namely full page wallet size bank size and manufacturers so how many categories are there there are four categories namely full page wallet size bank sizes and manufacturers so first we are going to discuss about full page okay so select any one of the template you may ask a question why we want to select this template why can't we create a new template Yes, you are allowed. If you want to create a new template, you just go to blank size as per your specification, and just click any one of these blank sizes in order to develop your own template. Or else, you can use the existing template in order to save the time, and we can able to customize it as per our requirement, as we like. Okay, now I'm going to select the template. Once you select the template. it will appear right here that you want to do the customization like color schema you can select the color schema or else if you want to create a new color schema click create new and customize the colors and give your name give a name and save it so now i'm going to use the existing one and next comes the font schema When you click on the font schema, you can able to see a drop down which displays a plenty of predefined font schemas. You can choose any one of this, or else, if you wish to create a new one, just go to bottom where you can able to find the option Create New. You just click on Create New, where you want to define the heading font. Next, you want to define the body font. and give a name and in order to save it okay next comes your business info either you can able to use existing business info or else you can able to create a new one by clicking on create new where you want to specify the individual name job position or title organization name address phone fax and email and tag line or motto and logo you can save it by giving a custom name and click save so now i'm going to use the existing business information and next comes the page orientation when you click on the page orientation the drop down will appear which consists of two options first one is portrait and second one is landscape you can able to choose based on that the template will be changed And next comes one month per page. It's a time frame. It's a one month per page and one year per page. 
in last session we have discussed about one month per page now i am going to select one year per page so if you want to include events you can check this or else you will uncheck it okay and then click create when you click on the create icon the corresponding template will be loaded into the ui where you can able to see the template so now you can start your customization so now i'm going to increase the font size before that i'm going to increase the image so when you click on this image where you can able to see the contextual tabs so these tabs are called as contextual tabs so i'm going for format and you can customize it okay and i'm going to increase the brightness and if you want to increase the contrast you can increase the contrast and if you want to recolor it set just select the image okay and then after doing the changes now i'm going to concentrate on my fonts so i'm going to increase the font size in order to do this i'm going to segregate or split the fonts split the sentence and then i'm going to increase the size so if you want to change the font family you can able to change it and now it's going to format i want to make it as a central alignment where you can able to find the central alignment in text box tools central alignment and further i'm going to increase the font size okay then so more to so going to type pointer so where you can able to check your spellings also pointers in education can type any business information as per your company requirements okay and then i'm going to increase the font size of the address salala omen and then i'm, go I'm going to increase the font size for phone number of fax and email okay Now I did all the customization what I want. Now I want to change the template. I want to add some task for it. How to do this? Here you can able to see page design tab. You just click on page design tab. Where you can able to see change template. Click on change template. It will takes you to the window called change template. So I am going to include scheduled event. And click OK. Class for the information. Change template. Apply the template to the current publication or create a new publication using my text and graphics. I am going to select the first option. So where, if you have uh, any appointments or any important dates, any events, you can able to specify it. But I don't want it because which reduces my size. So again, I am going for page design. Change template. I'm going to uncheck include schedule for event and click the first option apply template to the current position and click ok so where you can able to see that now this gives you a clear picture of all the months 
and if you want to change the colors you can able to change the colors right here and if you want to change the font size or font scheme also you are allowed to do this okay so where well, i want to restore the previous thing okay so now if you want to go for background color yes you can have a good background and now your template is ready so how to view this go to file and go to print where you can able to see the print preview i think you may enjoy this video if you have any queries you just contact me through my email kartik.me.vl or or just log into the blog www.kartikar3ik.blogspot.in and post your comments thanks for watching this video thank you